Welcome back to the Healthy Skin Coach Show. I'm your host, Takashi, helping you biohack your life to get clear skin and extend your lifespan. Today, I'm going to explain why omega-3 deficiency is a bigger problem than the coronavirus. But first, I'm going to plug my website, thehealthyskincoach.com. If you need help with nutrition, with your skin, or with inflammation inside the body, book a free appointment with me. And you can check out some of my recommended products, including my Udemy online course, which is amazing. It took me six months to develop it for you. And this omega-3 fish oil that I have on my website is the best one that I found in the market today because it's the most bioavailable. And I'm going to explain why later in this video. So as of today, April 28th, there have been almost 58,000 deaths from the coronavirus in the US. And that's a large number of deaths and it's very sad to see. But a lot of these deaths are coming from people who are obese and diabetic, which are both preventable medical conditions. And this actually stems from a much bigger problem, which is that public health and nutrition isn't really taught in schools. So people are eating all these inflammatory foods and building up inflammation on the inside, which leads to pretty much every medical condition you can think of. Okay, so we know 58,000 people have died from the coronavirus in the US, but guess what? Omega-3 deficiency causes 96,000 US deaths per year, according to Harvard University researchers. And it's the sixth biggest killer of Americans and more deadly than excess trans fat intake, according to the study funded by the Center for Disease Control and Prevention. So while the coronavirus is getting all the attention, this omega-3 deficiency problem isn't being addressed at all by the media because it takes a long time for it to show up as a medical condition. The coronavirus hits you within a week or two and you're hospitalized. But when you're omega-3 deficient and you have too much omega-6s, which are the bad fatty acids, which creates inflammation inside the body, that can take years to show up as symptoms in the form of cancer or heart disease. So most people don't care about it until it's too late. For me, I was omega-3 deficient and I was debilitated in my bed at 26. And I was able to heal using food as the ultimate medicine. And when you are blindsided by a medical condition, then you start taking nutrition and your health seriously. And it's been my number one focus to optimize my health. And I want to help you optimize your health and your skin. So the problem is that the typical Western diet is packed with omega-6 fatty acids, which are super inflammatory. And they release all these inflammatory chemicals it's called mediators inside the body including cytokines and histamines and prostaglandins and leukotrienes. And all these inflammatory chemicals are tied to medical conditions, including eczema, acne, psoriasis, autoimmune conditions, cancers, and heart disease. So here are the top 10 foods with the highest omega-6s. Number one is corn chips. It's snacks. It's got 14,000 milligrams of omega-6s per cup, and we're typically eating m- way more than a cup. I could down a whole thing of Doritos chips or Cheetos chips in one setting, and that's just so much omega-6s in my body without balancing it out with omega-3s. Other inflammatory foods include fast foods. So a Subway tuna sub, which you think is healthy, has 14,000 omega-6s per six inch sub, which is, again, super inflammatory. Even firm tofu has 11,000 milligrams of omega-6s. Something you think is healthy as walnuts or peanut butter also is packed with omega-6s. Obviously, cakes with frosting is inflammatory. And even chicken thighs and cured meats and creamy soups have too much omega-6s. And you have to balance it out with omega-3s, which inhibit the omega-6 effects. So today I'm gonna focus on vegetable oils and why it's basically poisoning our society. So here's a chart comparing the vegetable oils and the total added fats in the USA. As we see a rise in vegetable oils, especially in the last 20 years, because of fast foods and snacks, chips and all the junk, 
we see a rise in total fats. And there's a strong correlation between the rise in vegetable oils and the added fats per person in the U.S. And most recently, we've crossed 60 pounds of added fats per person, which should be obvious to you that it's not good for your health. So the ideal omega-6 ratio is 1 to 1, which was the ratio of our hunter and gatherer ancestors. And if you want clear skin, free of acne, eczema, and psoriasis, you want it to be at most 4 omega-6s to 1 omega-3s. The lower the better. On average, our omega ratios are 20 omega-6s to 1 omega-3s, causing so much inflammation inside the body. So here is the metabolic pathways of omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids. I know it looks complicated, but I'm going to simplify it as much as possible. This is called a downstream effect. Think of it as a race. It has to cross all these checkpoints to get to the end point, which is at the bottom. Here's the omega-6 side, here's the omega-3 side. When you have too much polyunsaturated oils and vegetable oils, it starts this downstream process and it gets to arachidonic acid, which I've talked about in my videos, which is increased or upregulated in the cell membrane. And when that happens, it upregulates leukotrienes and prostaglandins, specifically prostaglandin 2 and leukotriene 4, which are both inflammatory. And when you have too much of these inflammatory chemicals, it leads to cancers, autoimmune conditions, and heart disease. The reason why omega 3s are so beneficial is because it blocks the omega-6 delta-5 desaturase right here, downstream conversion into arachidonic acid. So by blocking this checkpoint, it actually reduces these inflammatory chemicals and increases these anti-inflammatory chemicals called prostaglandin 3s and leukotriene 5s. And to dive down further, you actually want the EPA and DHA from certain fish oils. But I'm also going to talk about why your standard fish oil is not that efficient or effective at increasing anti-inflammatory chemicals. So here's a research study from the University of Louisville Health Sciences Center in Kentucky titled The Yin and Yang of Leukotriene B4 Mediated Inflammation and cancer. And it talks about how leukotrienes are associated with inflammatory diseases like asthma, colitis, dermatitis, which is eczema, rheumatoid arthritis, and autoimmune conditions, and obesity, and sleep apnea, and deadly cancers. I am sure that you have a family member or a friend who has these inflammatory conditions and they need to fix their diets. My mom passed away from cancer and had I known all this information about how important omega-3s are, I could have shared this with her and potentially saved her life. Here is another research study from the University of Connecticut titled, The Roles of Prostaglandin E2 in Inflammation and Cancer. And it talks about how this specific prostaglandin E2 causes pro-inflammatory effects and which promote tumors and cancers like colon cancer and prostate cancer. So if you want to optimize your health, your goal should be to downregulate or decrease prostaglandin E2 and leukotriene B4 right here by decreasing omega-6 intake and increasing omega-3 intake. So the reason why I like this product so much, this Balance Oil by Zinzino, is because not only do they have the EPA and DHA inside to help downregulate leukotrienes and prostaglandins that are inflammatory, but they are also in the most bioavailable form because it combines with vitamin D3 and olive polyphenols that you don't find in standard fish oil supplements. This product was created by Dr. Paul Clayton, who I've spoken on the phone with. He is a world-renowned scientist and expert on omega-3s 
and how they can reduce inflammation inside the body. He is the former chair of the Forum on Food and Health at the Royal Society of Medicine. And he is currently a fellow of the Institute of Food, Brain and Behavior at Oxford. And he talks about how standard fish oil supplements strips the polyphenols out of the fish oil, which reduces its anti-inflammatory effects. You need these polyphenols in combination with the omega-3 fish oil, which is in this balanced oil product, to carry the omega-3 safely through the gut and to the liver and to the bloodstream, which will eventually end up in the cell membranes here in order to decrease these inflammatory chemicals and increase these anti-inflammatory chemicals. And here's another chart explaining why fish oil combined with the olive polyphenols has more oxidative stability. So what happens is these standard fish oil supplements that aren't combined with polyphenols are oxidized more frequently and rapidly, which means they lose their anti-inflammatory effectiveness. And here's another study that concluded that the oxidative stability of fish oil products available on the market might not be sufficient to ensure health quality and safety during longer storage. So people who take standard fish oil supplements still have an elevated ratio of omega-6s. And what the research found is that they can have even up to 16 to 1 omega-6s to omega-3s even when they're taking omega-3 fish oil supplements. Why? Because it gets oxidized as you add in oxygen from the air the longer it's stored, which makes it less effective, and it doesn't travel well to your cell membranes where you need it in order to have the anti-inflammatory effects. And after testing, 95% of those taking Zenzino balanced products have a ratio of nearly three to one after 120 days, which is in the healthy zone and closer to that one to one optimal level that I'm trying to get to. Only 1% of people in North America have a three to one ratio, which is a good indication that the rest of America has too much inflammation built up. Even if you think you're healthy, you still could be healthier and you still could optimize your health which is what my channel is all about. And I want to help you achieve longevity by reducing inflammation in the body as much as possible. Zenzino also created a balance test which measures your omega-3s to omega-6s and it's conducted by an independent laboratory called Vitas. And they'll ship your blood sample to this independent lab and you'll get the results within two weeks. So the Zenzino product is 65 bucks retail which is on the higher end. But when it comes to your health, you wanna buy quality and you don't wanna cheap out on products that aren't actually working. But if you get the subscription, it's $39, which is actually the same price as the best-selling omega-3 fish oil on Amazon. But on Amazon, this best-selling product only contains the EPA and DHA of the fish oil without combining it with the olive polyphenols and vitamin D3, which makes it more bioavailable. And that's why Zenzino is actually a much superior product than this. And all these people giving it a five out of five rating probably have never been tested exactly for their omega-3 to omega-6 ratio in their blood. So they're taking this supplement thinking it will help reduce inflammation when really those taking standard omega-3 supplements still have an average balance of 16 omega-6s to one omega-3. So you have to be informed, you have to be educated on what products you are putting inside your body and how it's actually affecting your health. You want the most vile available product in the market to optimize your health. And based on my research, balance oil is that. Plus a standard vitamin D3 supplement can be 15 to 20 bucks and olive oil is 20 to 25 bucks. So if you combine all those ingredients into one package, this $39 on a subscription basis is actually very reasonable. And it's a fair price for what it contains on the inside. 
even at 65 bucks, the amount of vitamin D3 that's inside, which is more than the standard vitamin D supplements, and the polyphenols that are inside, which aren't in any fish oil supplements, and the large amount of EPA and DHA inside balance oil, which is actually more than the EPA and DHA found in the best-selling Amazon product, this balance oil totally makes sense. And you have to look at the quality of the ingredients on the inside when it comes to your health. And here's a study that showed that skin elasticity improves as you lower your omega-6 to omega-3 ratio. The lower the ratio, the more your skin improves. Why? Because it promotes collagen synthesis and it has photoprotective properties. So it's protecting you from the UV rays of the sun which can cause melanoma in skin cancers if you have too much. So I hope this was helpful. Based on the science, I believe this is the best fish oil product in the market. I partnered with them because I believe in the science behind this product and the research studies backing it. And if you are interested and wanna support my channel for more health content, please use my link and you can find it in the description below. Remember guys, you wanna optimize your health by taking in less omega-6s, which downregulates all these inflammatory chemicals that are tied to autoimmune conditions and skin conditions and cancers and heart disease. And you want to up your omega-3 intake using a quality fish oil supplement like the Balance Oil that is more bioavailable than any other fish oil supplement that I've seen in the market. And taking in more omega-3s will help you increase the anti-inflammatory chemicals inside your body and blocks the downstream conversion into arachidonic acid from the omega-6s, which also helps reduce inflammation. All right, thank you for watching and thank you for listening. Your health is your greatest asset. So don't waste it and you can optimize your health starting today. All right. Visit my website, thehealthyskincoach.com if you want to learn more. As always, Taco is out.